Okay, managing exhaustion. Yeah, that's something I've got a lot of experience with. So I, I went to see a teacher of enlightenment, and I had kidney failure. I wish I shared this, and it's my great realization um, for what happened. So when you have kidney failure, you feel exhausted all the time, and it's like you've got brain fog. It's like complete exhaustion, you've got toxic blood and, and, and everything. And I went to see this teacher of enlightenment, and he said just, you know, just, he was talking about being in the observer of the witnesser of things. And he just said that for, for a few minutes, and then suddenly all the exhaustion disappeared, and you know, the brain fog that I'd had for months, suddenly it all disappeared, and I had infinite energy, like I didn't have kidney failure, exhaustion, or toxic blood, and everything disappeared within a few seconds. And I realized that, you know, I had been, my, my programs for kidney failure and, and brain fog and exhaustion was so strong, it was part of my identity, but when I went to that infinite place of consciousness and wasn't attached to any of it, it's like what's observing the brain fog, what's observing the tiredness, what's observing the exhaustion, just a few minutes of that and suddenly it all disappeared. And also the presence of an enlightened teacher. Being in the presence of an enlightened teacher, they don't buy the crap. You know, you buy the crap. You say, this brain fog is real. My exhaustion is real. You know, I, I'm going to force this on you. Believe this. This is real brain fog and exhaustion. This is a medical condition. You can't get rid of this stuff. And then it was just gone. So, so it was just the thing. And, and what it did for me, even though I believed I had kidney failure and, you know, and I had a lot of reinforcement, that victimhood and all those enmeshed belief systems were so strong. But, you know, in truth, all of that disappears in a split second. It just shows the power, the huge power of belief systems and being imprinted. And even, you know, you can believe it. So it shattered the belief system that um, this is all crap. This is total crap. You know, illness is total crap. If you get one glimpse of being in the infinite non-dual field, the observer, it all disappears like an illusion, like a nightmare disappearing in the light. So exhaustion is really interesting. So once you have these uh, observer or mystical experiences when you're feeling really ill, you know, you know you can call the ego's bluff. You go, this is all crap that you're sort of, you're, you're manufacturing this crap to, to create suffering. You know, but I, I know it's, it's an illusion, it's not real. I've had the experience. And you can speak from the authority of your own spiritual experience that you just got lost in the illusions of, of illness and belief systems. So, so I know, it, but these things can happen, you know. You can be around doctors, you can be popping pills in or having heavy treatments. And, uh, and, and, uh, and, and these old belief systems and these systems come in. But, um, so the way I deal with it, there's multiple ways of dealing with, and, I've had a lot of experience having had, you know, having to try and transcend kidney failure, uh, which is extreme exhaustion. Um, exhaust if you don't label exhaustion, so one way to do it is to feel the feelings on exhaustion. Okay, so that's one tool. I'll give you several tools, which we'll do later on today. Feeling so wh what I do is I tend to sit up with a straight back, because w when you start slouching and trying to sleep with exhaustion, what you're doing is you're allowing the programs to run. You're, 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 you're giving fuel to the fire of exhaustion. So remember, actually, exhaustion is just a collection of belief systems and illusions. So, you know, I would always, I always do a straight back because I'm not going to, I'm going to do the opposite of buying into my illness. And see, because, you know, the observer and feeling the feelings is, uh, you know, going to sleep when you're doing a spiritual exercise is actually the ego is winning because it's trying to, like, take you into the illusions. So, so when I'm doing feel the feelings, exhaustion is actually a, a feeling. It's, don't use the label exhaustion. Exhaustion is a very powerful label, which is self-fulfilling, if that, if that makes sense. Tiredness, exhaustion, is the power of label or a diagnosis is extremely powerful. So don't touch exhaustion. Don't, you know, don't even, or tiredness, because that in itself has a lot of power. Mm -hmm. Next thing, actually, it's not even a feeling. It's an energy. It's a vibration. Don't, don't allow your head to label it and make stories, negative stories around it. Actually, it's just a vibration that's, that's happening in consciousness right now, okay? So, don't label, don't make a story, and just let it be there. Just let it be there like a fog, like a foggy day, like a cloudy day. So you're there, and, uh, and then you... 
Now, the thing with exhaustion, the thing that's happening with, with tiredness and exhaustion is there are lots of programs which are creating resistance, like, I don't like this, I don't want this to be here, I wish I wasn't exhausted. That's like a resistance. So switch off all the unconscious labels and stories and just let it be here, almost like you're, you're just allowing the energy without a story or a label to exist. Yeah? And the straight back, I think, is very important because your ego wants to go into sleep and say you cut, you're too tired to do this, but don't touch those thoughts. So I just be with it. And remember, when you allow an energy to be here and don't fight it and don't have a story like I wish it wasn't here, so you're just allowing it without resistance, it's, it'll, it, for a while it might just peak up and it feel overwhelming. And then you get into a resonance of just allowing it, just to be here without fighting it or labeling it or making a story. And then as you get this thing of a straight back, it'll start to eventually, you'll, you'll start to experience, it'll start to dissolve. You just be with it. You'll start to get less and less in intensity because when you allow something and don't have a mental story or a label that you don't want it to be here, you don't go to sleep on it, the energy starts to dissolve. It's just like, a, it's just like a trapped wind. You know, It just needs to be released and not pushed back or made a story. And that energy will vaporize because you're just allowing it to come here. And, you, and, and I've had so many experiences of just being with it. You just have the intention, I'm going, to, I'm going to feel it out. I'm going to let it be here. I'm not going to make a story. Every time you go into a story, I don't want, I, I'm too tired to do this. Cut the, la cut the story, cut the label, just allow it. If there can be unconscious things in the background making stories. Just cut, try and cut any unconscious labeling of stories about this is... And then soon you'll start to get the hang of this thing, which is really, really handy, of how to feel out exhaustion and tiredness. Once you've done it once, it's very profound, because you know that actually, don't label it, it's an energy which when you're with it, it disappears, mm. you see. But if you just make keep saying, I'm too tired, I'm too tired, I, I'm going to now eat a biscuit and then go to sleep, then that's like the ego wins. You haven't had the experience that this will evaporate in consciousness. So that's one tool, for, and that will take out exhaustion. And, you know, but sometimes exhaustion can be very heavy. I mean, sometimes, but I'm happy. Yeah. You know, I have an experience sit for one hour or two yeah. hours until it's gone, and then it disappears, and you know it's an illusion. And you get better and better at doing it. And the more you do it, the faster it can happen. Yeah. You're just like, I'll feel out my time. It's not a problem. The next tool is the observer. So tiredness is like a cloud or a fog. You know, there is something that observes now, even tiredness, you shouldn't. It's actually like, a, it's like an energy field. Now, when, here's the way to get out of tiredness or exhaustion. If anyone's tired or exhausted, it's good to do it. Now, tiredness and exhaustion, something knows tiredness is here. Yeah? Do you get that? Like, when you're not tired, there's a knowingness of not tired. And when you're tired, there's a knowingness that tiredness is here. Just like if I hold a, if I hold a mug, something knows a mug is in front of you and something knows when there's no mug so a mug is an object yeah so tiredness or exhaustion is an object the observer of tiredness when it comes and when it's not here is still here so there's an observer that knows no tiredness and there's an observer that knows when tiredness is here so tiredness is like a cloud that comes and goes Imagine like a cloud of tiredness coming and being confused, you are the tiredness. That's what happens. That's different. Mm -hmm. So, now know that, you know, you get like, when, when I get tired, it's like I feel like a fuzzy cloud. I don't know, I mean, you might have it different. It's like fuzzy cloud of tiredness is here. That's how I, you might experience it differently. But then recognize that is an object. You know, like I might feel like fuzziness in the room. But something is observing this sense of fuzziness. There's a witnesser of it. And the witnesser of the exhaustion of tiredness, can you be the detached observing of the tiredness? As soon as you're in the observing of the tiredness, your sense is the observer of the tiredness tired. That which is observing tired, is it tired? As soon as you recognize that, the observer of tiredness is not tired. And in that split second, it's like when you're in the detached observing of tiredness, it will just vanish in one microsecond. It's like the, it's like, um, the ego's illusion is suddenly revealed to be like, oh, 
I'm not the timeless, I'm the observer, and then it disappears. It's like you can't, when, when you catch the ego in its game, it just disappears like a trick. So I've done that quite a few times, but it's the trick of, sometimes you might be what I call the, the, the attached observer, the, you know, there's an interested observer which is not detached from timeless, and then there's a purely detached. So if, the, if there's like weak observing of the timeless, then you'll feel like there's a relationship between the observer and the fog and see if there's an observer of that attached observer, attached and meshed observer with the tiredness. And then you'll find the pure observing of the detached observer is not tired. And then, it's, and then it just vanishes in a second. Later on, we might do that if there are some <coughs> tired people left in the room. Later on, we might try and, and do that. Are we feeling better now? <laughs>